This is a demonstration of the instance viewer that has been available in recent versions of SQL developer. So let me just show you the instance viewer first. So there's a, a lot of different windows, one showing sessions, one showing wait activity, DP CPU usage, top SQL statements, SQL execution rates, memory usage, storage IO. So I had previously run a, a, a load on the system, so you can see everything is ramping down now. I'm waiting for everything to settle down, and then I'm going to start the next benchmark run. Let's just start the next benchmark run. I'm using HammerDB and the TPCC benchmark. Okay, so the, the benchmark is wrapping up. I switch back to the AS uh, to the session viewer. You can see here some of sessions is ramping up again. Weights are ramping up. Unfortunately, on my system, most of the weights are IO weights. It can show you. All the different types of weights you would normally see in Enterprise Manager. Commit weights, concurrency weights, configuration weights. Here, most of my weights are IO weights. I can see execution rates. Now they'll slowly come up for all the SQLs being executed. I already have a high commit rate, 14, 12 to 14 commits per second. Let me look at the IO. Okay, so file IO. It's going to start soon. And redo log I is going to start as, as the benchmark ramps up. So you can show you from the storage how many blocks per second have been accessed. The total reads, the blue line here is reads, red line is writes, so there's no writes, it's all reads because this is a read benchmark for TPCC. Redo log IO right now, there's nothing much. I look at the block rate, blocks per second, logical reads. It's going, it's going to ramp up in a few minutes. Yeah, it started ramping up now. Block rate is up. Logical reads will also come up soon. And I can see, look at the top SQL statements. So if I hover the mouse over the SQL, I can see what SQL it is. Top SQL, it's only show the first 20 here in the first page. If I go to the second page, it shows the next set of 20 statements. Then third set of 20 statements. Then you go back to the first page again. So the top statement, the CPU time in seconds, this is buffer gets what you would normally expect from uh, any you know, monitoring tool. But the advantage with this instance viewer in SQL developer is it shows a lot of information in graphical representation in one screen. So I see sessions here, I see weights here, I see CPU. CPU Ratio. Most of my weights is IO weights, not much higher, not much CPU usage. I can see execution rates, pass rates, cursors, commit rates. I can look at memory, block rates, logical reads, storage IO. Now there have been a few writes here. The blue is the reads. Read a log, sequence numbers. When is when a new log file switch happens? You can see 485 to 505 are being shown here. The redo generation rate, I now have ramped up my redo generation rate in my benchmark. So this is a very useful tool in SQL Developer. You can always zoom in and zoom out. I can just reduce the zoom factor, increase the zoom factor. Then I can focus on a particular area. Of course, if I zoom, then I can pan, pan right and pan left. If I zoom too much, I can just pan to the right. So with the higher zoom ratio, I can view it there. I can take a snapshot at any time. Let me just zoom out first. I can use the camera to take a snapshot and save it as a PNG file. So this is quite a useful tool in SQL Developer. You can, of course, access the uh, in the performance tab. You can also access ASH and AWS reports, which everybody has been known for 
quite some time, but I don't need that now. I can just use the instance viewer to monitor database activity at an aggregate level, presented in a graphical format rather than the AWR, just lines of text and numbers. So remember, recent versions of SQL developer introduced this. Use the DBA connection def definition here. I'm connected to my 19C Linux PDB with a user that has the appropriate privileges could just be DBA privilege role itself, or you could grant select catalog role, select any dictionary, and then work out how you want the privileges for that instance viewer. Next, 